Ah, well, good evening and welcome, everybody. My name is Rachel. I'm the camp counselor tonight. It's great to have you here. Wow, what an evening, huh? Crickets are singing, the owl hooting, the stars are out, and the moon shining through the trees. And we've got this great campfire, huh? Could be a little warmer. Yeah, it's like you can get so close. It's a magic campfire. <sighs> well, thanks for being here. Um, I don't know how well you guys know each other, but we do have something all in common. We've all faced cancer, and it isn't easy, is it? No. And we all have our own stories to share, stories of sadness and stories of being scared, being hopeful. It's uh, telling our stories is something that humans have always done. We tell our stories in our homes. We tell them on the big theater. We tell them in books. Sometimes a phone call to a friend. Sometimes we get to sit around the fire and tell stories. I like to think of the first humans. You know, they've had a big meal that they've shared, and they sit around the fire, hear the crackling of the fire, and they share their stories. Stories help keep us strong. It, they help us to heal, and they help us to know that we're not alone. Did any of you go to the Angel Foundation Kids Camp? Yeah? Well, that's actually where I got my first connection to Angel Foundation. It was about 20 years ago, and I brought my guitar, and we sang around the campfire. It was back when the Angel Foundation was actually called the Minnesota Oncology Hematology Foundation. <laughs> I like Angel. How about you guys? Yeah. yeah. Well... How many of you shared your stories at kids' camp? Yeah? I bet it was hard to share them, but I was, uh, it was probably pretty helpful also to share it and to hear other kids' stories to let you know that you are not alone. Angel Foundation, they get letters all the time from adults and from kids sharing their story with the Angel Foundation. And I know we have some of those stories here t tonight. Vincent, would you read the first story? Sure. When cancer hit our house and our little world was knocked around quite a bit, the Angel Foundation was there. When we needed financial help, the Angel Foundation was there. When we were emotionally drained and feeling alone, the Angel Foundation was there. Thanks, Vincent. Ira. The first time I went to Angel's Facing Cancer Together group series, I was a little nervous, but I had so much fun that I wanted to go back the next day. It was a very nice thing to know that other kids are going through the same thing that I was. Mm. Thank you. Juliana. We are so lucky to have a place that cares about the whole family during this uncertain journey. Thank you, Angel Foundation. Well, thanks for sharing those stories. It really is helpful to know that we're not alone. You know, there's a girl named Katie Jekka, and she wanted to help kids tell their story. So she put together a bunch of stories and made a book. How cool is that? And she's an artist, too, so she put images along with the stories. And I know, Tiki, you have the book there. It's a great book. Um, would you read us one of the excerpts? Sure. What cancer cannot do? Cancer is so limited. It cannot cripple love. It cannot shatter hope. It cannot corrode faith. It cannot destroy peace. It cannot kill friendship. It cannot suppress memories. It cannot silence courage. It cannot invade the soul. It cannot steal eternal life. It cannot conquer the spirit. That's right. 
Right on. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Tiki. It's really nice to know that we really have a lot more in common than a lot of people think. And it also is important that we reach out and we're there for each other. So I found this really cool song, and it's perfect for the Angel Foundation. It's called Angel By Your Side, and, well, I just so happen to have my guitar, and I thought I would sing it. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to sing it through, but if you guys catch on, would you sing along with me? Okay. That everything's okay Cause I can see the tears you're crying And I can promise to take the pain away But you can know I won't stop trying I'll be the angel by your side I will get you through the night I'll be the strength you can't provide On your own Cause when you're down and out of time And you think you've lost the fight Let me be the angel by your side I know it feels like you're running out of faith cause it's so hard But if I can bring a smile upon your face If for a moment you forget all about it I'll be the angel by your side I will get you through the night I'll be the strength you can provide on your own and when you're down and out of time and you think you lost the fight let me be the angel the angel by being alone yeah well let me show you what I mean ladies and gentlemen if you are a cancer survivor please take one of the LED candles from your table and switch the candle on hold it in your hand and please stand
If you are a caregiver for someone with cancer, please light your candle and stand. All of our caregivers. If you have or had a loved one who has cancer, please light a candle and stand. If you know anyone, a friend, acquaintance, a co-worker, another kid at school who has faced cancer themselves or in a loved one, please light a candle and stand. See, kids, we aren't alone. Look at all the angels. And now, let's welcome those folks featured in our video to the stage. The Phelps, the Sandridges, and Stephanie Prevo. Please join us on the stage. And we're going to welcome some of the parents and families of these wonderful kids on stage, all of whom who have been involved in the Angel Foundation's Facing Cancer Together program. And please join me and the amazing Angel Foundation staff, the Angel Foundation Board of Directors, and the Angel Gala Steering Committee. Let's raise our voices in song. Won't you please join us in one more chorus of this song? I'll be the angel by your side. I will get you. Let me be. 